Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And want to wish all of you a happy new year. Yes. Uh, happy new year it is our, our first recording day, I guess, of the year. We actually took a day off. We did. Um, and of course, you know, we, we wake up to more controversy, uh, different industries, and we're going to talk about the animation industry and a, a controversy brewing about a Chinese animated film that looks very Asian. No. Yes, that's bad. That's bad, but not this variation. This was another another uh, thing trending on Twitter. It, it's actually uh, a movie called I Am What I Am. I thought it was a Popeye sequel first. I got <laughs> What I Am, yeah. I love the Popeye movie. I do, I do remember, remember the Popeye action. movie, yes. Had good music. Uh, but no, it's this, this Chinese animated movie, and I watched the trailer, and the animation's actually very, very good. But there is controversy now, because apparently this Chinese filmmaker made the characters look too Asian. And that's you know stereotyping. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the the fors and against of this. Now this is a different uh, kind of a situation because usually when people are complaining that characters look too Asian, it's it's Western Twitter and telling people to stay away from stereotypes. But mm -hmm. is it still a stereotype if uh, the movie was created in China mm -hmm. uh, with an all Chinese crew? And they're just trying to make the characters look uh, not Western. That's just it. I think that was the whole thing, is they really wanted to take a stand against the Western, you know... Aesthetic. The aesthetic, big guys yes. And the, yeah. And I think that's more to do with it than anything. They're like, why do we have to tell our people that to be pretty, they have to look like Westerners? You know? Yeah, so I thought, you know, since there was backlash, when I first read the article, and this is coming from Cartoon Broom, we'll go out to another site, a Chinese site talking about it, I thought the backlash was because it was a Western-produced film that made the characters look stereotypical, but mm -hmm. it's actually coming from China. And a lot of people in China actually appreciate that they're not going with the Disney aesthetic. Right, but a lot of people in China are mad about it too. They, uh, yes. so, <laughs> anyway, it's not just here, it's not just here. Right, exactly. Cartoon outrage exists everywhere. So we're gonna talk about this as objectively as we possibly can. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, almost 250,000 subs. We're over 249,000. I think we're like 200 away. So if you could hit the subscribe button, uh, we do talk about the animation industry. We talk about comic books. We talk about pop culture. Uh, we have done many videos in the past talking about Twitter and Twitter being outraged about characters being too light skinned mm -hmm. or, you know, looking too quote unquote Asian or whatever. So when I first read the article, that was my thought. I'm like, oh my God, Twitter's at it again. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that Twitter's blissfully unaware of this movie. Uh, but it is a movie produced in China uh, by Chinese filmmakers for a Chinese audience. Right. And it's still controversial. Yes. Just because the characters don't have large eyes. Pretty much. Um, so this is a Cartoon Brew put the article out there. Uh, they said the quote unquote slanted eyes of characters in the Chinese indie film I Am What I Am have sparked a backlash. The filmmakers wanted more realism in their designs, but some viewers think the film is playing up to uh, stereotypes, Chinese stereotypes. I'm, I'm not, I mean, okay, wait a minute. I was, I was like, wait, wait, wait. So the movie done by Chinese people is being called a stereotype. Yes, they're, they're playing into to China, Asian stereotypes because so they're not they're not allowed to draw themselves the way they want to be drawn because it might offend somebody. Apparently, I am I am as confused as you are. It's it's, it's very confusing. It's very confusing. But I, I watched the trailer, and regardless of the the backlash, or maybe this is just a promotional thing, it actually looks really good. The animation's really really good, and I actually like the look of it because to me it's sort of a a, a throwback to. Uh, 80s, 90s, you know, anime where they did have, uh, you know, characters that didn't have the the big eyes. They were more, right. you know, they actually like you look at Akira and they actually look. You can tell these are Japanese characters. They're not, you know, westerners with blue hair or any weird. They're supposed to be Asian characters. Um, but uh, yeah, apparently, I'm, I'm just confused because I guess a lot of people in China are mad about it too. I'm just confused because you know it doesn't make sense to me. Um, people said, well, there were actually some Chinese people that that chimed in on the thread. They said, I like the character designs. I'm kind of tired of so much 3D animation all looking the same. Yeah, agreed. I understand how a Chinese studio and filmmaker making a Chinese film for Chinese audiences would be racist against the Chinese. I know, right? But then people, they said people from China don't like it either. And and the, and the person that created it said they wanted to do a, a look that, you know, showed the uh, uh, beauty and aesthetic of China and the way that people look without having to go to the stereotypes of the, the Japanese or Western. 
look of it, you know, with the, you know, how you stereotypically think the big eyes and all that. Yeah. Well, that's what, you know, somebody here said that I wouldn't be surprised if the majority of those saying it's racist are actually not. Yeah, but someone said they are Chinese. There are some, not very many. We're going to talk. They're really split on this one. Um, These characters look cool AF. I actually thought the trailer looked really good. I I like the look. Uh, I'm beginning to think this is why most people are starting to draw unusual anthropomorphic animals. So people can't complain about how they look too similar or different from people. Oh, they still find They it. still complain. Knuckles. Knuckles is coated black. And right, you, right. And Drew him as a, as a white guy. You mm-hmm. know, it is what it is. I have no idea what to say. What? Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm trying to wrap my head around this, and I just cannot ba- bre- bend my brain enough to, to, to make it make sense. Brain bending. Yeah. Brain, that's probably racist, too. Yes, Because probably. when everything's when everything is Avatar of the Last Airbender, that's also racist, too. Yes, pretty. Well, we know that. We, they said that. Yeah, there was that, that one girl that got one, canceled. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Eater, yeah, but I think there's more to it than that. That's not our story. Anyway, this is, uh, I believe, a Chinese site. Um, and they, they're actually pretty objective with that. They're, they're like, here's, here's what happened. Uh, well, good, because I, I would like to know. Yeah. I'm confused. We're going to read this. Should small eyes offend Chinese people? New film triggers debate. Uh, Chinese animated film I Am What I Am has been accused of pandering to Western stereotypes over the shape and size okay. of its character's eyes. This is ridiculous. So they're pandering to Western audiences with the shape of its eyes. But then if they made it really big, then they're then they're just kind of in a way, you know, Westernizing, their, yeah. yeah, who what they you know who they really are. So you can you know you can't really win. I mean, I'm sitting here looking like I don't think this is really an issue because look at some of the Western animated movies. Look at like James and the Giant Peach, you know, where he had, just had like dots for eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it was just an aesthetic that they they chose because that's the art style. And, you know, they said that, look, if you go to, to China's answer to IMDb, it's getting five star reviews and also negative comments because of the character's eyes. So they're, they're going to be like, we can't we can't enjoy this movie as a movie. This is sounding very Western, isn't it? This is sounding very yeah. much like Twitter. Um, said that the uh, the movie is about a story of a boy and his two friends achieving their dream of becoming lion dancers. Uh, the film's five-star reviews come from netizens praising its realistic portrayal of the traditional dance and its place in modern China alongside strong visuals and storytelling. Again, at least from a visual standpoint, the trailer... It looks really good. So wait, it's everything like China, except we don't like the fact that the eyes are slanted. Yeah, this is a valuable film because finally, a Chinese director made an animation based on our modern culture instead of mythical stories. They gave a five-star rating. Other positive reviews applaud the movie's originality, noting that many animated films made in China uh, are based on ancient myths. While I Am What I Am is a novel concept, the characters are youngsters in modern China but they still practice traditional artistry. Mm-hmm. That's actually a pretty good I think that's cool. plot, you know, for a movie, I guess. Despite the vivid storytelling, a vocal segment of viewers are upset with the main character's small and slanted eyes, physical features considered racist by some Chinese people. I am what I am has been accused by some netizens as playing into the western gaze. Oh my god, is this the new male gaze? <laughs> the western gaze? Oh god. We're talking G A Z E to be clear. To be clear, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out I'm just trying to figure out term, how to even process this. A term describing privileged Western audiences projecting their biases and preconceptions onto non-Western people. This movie, if this were produced in Hollywood, yeah, I'd say that. This is produced in China for Chinese audiences. That's just it. If it was produced in Hollywood, I would say I can see where they're coming from. But you know, another user accused the film of adopting yellow peril tropes, commenting, "This is how Chinese people were." Uh, exaggeratedly portrayal during the colonial period. We've been discriminated against for so long. Um, this doesn't look so strange to some people. Of course, that, so if they had round, big, you more westernized, that they would have been okay with that. That's that's actually what they talk about. They said that there are some other users that are like, yeah, finally you're not westernizing our our and animation. And then people are like shitting because having a shit it because they're like, you made us do stereotype. Yes. Uh, valid concerns regarding the use of outdated racist Asian stereotypes in cinema exist. However, it's worth questioning whether or not attacking a Chinese-made film for portraying different looks is the right approach to addressing the concerns. Uh, the most problematic undertone to this debate, suggesting the only way to portray Chinese characters is, is with large round eyes, is essentially stating there is a best way to look Chinese. Yeah, it but, is. It's this is a, this is like a a, a grenade of. of once you start down the woke rabbit hole, China, you need to learn. Once you you start 
it never stops. Yeah. Like everything becomes problematic. They can't just look at the movie and say, hey, this is, you know. See, this, this is too weird to me because, like I said, if it was done by Westerners, you know, I would I would say yes. I can see where you're coming from. And I'm not saying the people that are, have a problem with it are wrong either. What I'm saying is it's made by a Chinese filmmaker for Chinese audiences. And, you know, they're trying to aesthetically look more Chinese. And now they're, they're, being, they're mad because they don't have big round eyes. Now, granted, people look different no matter where you go. Yeah. But it's just... There's no way to win. I, I, you know, this is so weird because I thought China was against this. Like, you know, they've been, you know, they have these new uh, guidelines, media yeah. guidelines, and they're sort of like trying to be, I, I guess you would call it like anti-woke or anti-SJW, uh, the censorship over there. And, you know, they openly mock people that are, you know, doing this sort of thing on uh, Western Twitter, but the same thing is kind of happening. So I'm... You know, it's it's just weird. It's amazing how polarizing cartoons can be. I'm just trying to wrap my head because I can't. I literally can't like wrap my head around this. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know I, I'm not going to tell people how to to feel about it. I mean, it's not my place to tell no, people I mean, how to feel about, about how they feel about it. But. but but I I will say that if it wasn't for this controversy, I never would have even heard of this movie. Mm -hmm. And I watched the trailer, and the trailer is beautiful. Like it's it's a beautiful. Oh, it looking. sounds like it's it's a ph phenomenal the whole way around, except for the fact that I don't like the eyes being small. Yeah, so so they made them bigger, they'd be a little happier with it. I but don't then know. people would complain that they they they, they, they look they, like they, westerners. They, they they western washed it. Western you know? washed it, yeah. Um, so the problem is, like, I know we're in some Asian countries that there are some issues. Like, they the, they try to equate beauty standards. Um, with westernized looks and you know and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but i don't think people should be ashamed of who they are either like you know what i mean i'm not saying they'll have small slanted eyes but what i'm saying is i don't understand why they always try to like they want the the big huge western look and eyes and all that when they themselves have their own unique look and that that's their own culture and i just you know i you know i i'm all for different styles and animation um i love I love unique looking animation. I love, you know, being able to look at a movie and saying, hey, uh, I can tell who worked on this movie just by the art style. Yeah. Whereas you look at a lot of the, the Disney and, and Pixar and uh, DreamWorks stuff now, and it all looks so samey. And I think a lot of it in China, maybe with the animation especially, is like, oh, we can export this to the West, so let's make it look like Disney or anime or something, you know. I don't know. This movie clearly was designed for... Chinese audiences only. Yes, it's interesting because it's like, it, I don't even know where to come from, the, the, the approach this from. Because it's like, you know, it, the people in China are getting mad about it too. So it, I don't it, know. It's getting good reviews. Uh, they say it's popular with those who have seen it, earning scores of 8.3 and 9.5 respectively on film reviewing platforms. Uh, it did screen at LA's animation as film earlier this year. And again, the only reason I'm, I'm even hearing about it is because of the controversy. It's It's like, you know, but you go out in the trailer on YouTube only has like a thousand views. Well, it sounds to me like the director, the point was they just wanted to try to focus on what they felt was traditionally culturally, uh, you know, right to them. Um, yeah. And people, you know, take they agree or not disagree. That seems like the, the intent was. So intent matters. I don't think this was intended to be anything div divisive. It was, you know, just like they want to they just want to take some of the westernization out of it and stop, you know, tell people that I think basically you, you guys are awesome as you are. You don't need to look western to be cool. Yeah, he said he responded to it. He said the response to the slanted eyes of the character shows that we lack aesthetic confidence and our aesthetic view of animation has been homogenized given the huge influence of Japanese and American animation. Again, Japanese animation influenced by Disney. Mm -hmm. So basically the big eyes came from Western cartoons and it's even kind of crept into, you know, Asian, the Asian look, which is an exaggerated Western look. Uh, said adding the selection of such an ordinary boy perfectly depicts his spirit of strength and resistance uh, to life. So again, this is a movie made for Chinese audiences by a Chinese director. This is not Hollywood deciding this is how Chinese people look. And he's getting backlash. I don't know. I mean, there's no way to... I mean, I just say they can feel about how they want. It's up to them. But if it was a Western something... I'm just going to say, if it was done in the West, I can see their point. I mean, that, that I can see why you know they would get mad and call them out. But it wasn't. So I, I'm not going to weigh in either way on this because it's like, it's really not for me. It's not my place to say. Yeah. I mean, here probably would have never heard of the film if not for the controversy. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, 
what they want huge anime style eyes. Uh, these accusations seem absurd considering the makers of the film. Um, you know, so it's kind of, and some people were agreeing with him. So I, I don't know. Uh, it is an interesting conversation, though. And, uh, you yeah, know, it just goes to show that, uh, you know, we keep saying that, you know, in Asia that they're not they're not uh, uh, complaining about cartoons and stuff as much as they are over here. And it seems I like... I guess that's not the guess of this I guess everywhere. it's not the case. Cartoons are divisive everywhere, damn it! Yeah, cartoons are divisive everywhere. But uh, if I have the opportunity to watch this movie, I might actually watch it. Does it the trailer is really good. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll put a link to the trailer, I think, in the description. You guys can go check it out. Uh, think about what you want to think. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.